Hi, I'm Ken Russo, a sales engineer for Hayfleet Hypertronics. Today I'm going to take you behind the scenes to do a live test with our 800 PL series portable DC high pot testers. Here at Hayfleet Hypertronics, we always stress the importance of safety, so be sure to check with your own company's safety guidelines for personal protective equipment. This unit is our 880 PL DC high pot tester. It's capable of putting out 80 kilovolts at 10 milliamps. Other models in the 800 series follow a similar testing procedure, but today I'm going to demonstrate testing on a 15 kV rated URD cable. While the power is off, connect your AC power supply to the unit and your 120 volt 60 hertz power strip. Also, connect your high voltage, return, and ground leads. And then connect the other ends of your leads back to the unit. Also, be sure your interlock plug is connected. Now it's time to make sure that all non-essential personnel are out of the testing area so you can begin your test. Set your current range to max and set your voltage range to the desired setting. My cable only goes is rated for 15 kV, so I'm going to put on the lowest 0 to 20 kV setting. Make sure your voltage control is lowered all the way to zero. Turn on the AC power switch and this beacon here will light up to indicate that there's power to the unit. From a safe position, turn on your high voltage. This beacon will light red, indicating that you're ready to start your test. Slowly raise your voltage to your desired setting. For me, that's going to be about 13 kV. You can hold your voltage for as long as your test specifies. Now that the voltage is holding on my device under test, I'm going to check the leakage current on the current meter. Right now the current meter range is set from 0 to 10 milliamps. As you can see, it's nowhere close to 1 milliamp, so I'm going to adjust the current range to go into microamps. As you can see, we've got about 4 microamps of leakage current. Now I'm going to readjust the current range to the 0 to 10 milliamp range. My test has run long enough, so I'm going to go ahead and slowly lower my voltage back down. I'm going to turn my high voltage off and my AC power off. It's important to make sure that your unit is properly grounded, so I'm going to use a grounding stick. Now you're ready to disconnect your specimen. and pack up the 880 for another test. To recap, set up your testing area. Connect the AC power to the unit. Connect your high voltage, return, and ground leads. Be sure that the interlock plug is in place. Set the desired range on the current meter and the voltage meter. Check to make sure the current meter dial is at 10 milliamps and the raised voltage control is at zero. Power on the unit using the AC power switch. Engage the high voltage by pressing the HV on button. Perform the test. Raise the voltage control to the desired level for the desired time. Observe leakage current, adjusting the current meter to a more accurate range as needed. Complete the test. Reset the current meter dial to 10 milliamps. Lower the voltage back down to zero. Turn the high voltage off and the AC power off. For safety, use a grounding stick to ground the specimen under test. For more information on the 880PL or for other Hapley Hypertronics products, be sure to check out our website. We can also view other demo videos as well as get data sheets for any of our units. Thanks for watching.